to change the expansion tank. Uh, the reason why my low coolant warning light was on in the first place. And then once I added coolant to the recommended levels, the next day I noticed that it was leaking a little bit. And you can look right there, you can see sweat. So this expansion tank must be cracked or um, on the edges under here. And so it's time to replace it. So let's get to it. A few things you're going to need. You're going to need some BMW coolant. And that's 50, 50 mix with distilled water. I already mixed it. And then you're going to need a flat screwdriver, 10 millimeter. You're going to need a pick and this extractor, fluid extractor tool, just in case uh, you need to remove some excess fluid if you pour too much or something, uh, you can take some out. You're going to need gloves definitely and you want to be safe. So let's take a look at the, the new expansion tank. Now I do recommend you get a cap. My cap is in the mail so I haven't got it yet but I'm just going to use the old cap for now. But usually uh, that is the point of where a failure is the cap. So I recommend getting a new one. Mine's coming in. Now take a look at here. What you have here is the top hose and the bottom hose. The bottom hose, when you take that out, you're going to use a flat screwdriver to pop that out on the old one. Okay? And that's where uh, coolant's going to be gushing out if, if uh, you have a a little bit of coolant in here uh, even though even if you disconnect it it's still gonna gush out now under here is your your level sensor here your coolant level sensor and that's easy uh, to take out just turn it like that there's a guide snaps in place snaps out and then you pull it out and then on the old one then you take the wiring harness off which comes off the head as a tab on it you just take it off but you don't want to take the wiring harness out first because you don't want to lose this in the engine compartment or you don't want it to fall now what you have here on the side this is going to sit on a grommet that's on the body of the vehicle so you want to make sure that's in place the right way and that's all that does now with your pick, what you want to do is pop this up. That pops right out. And there's another one on the bottom here. And that pops out as well. So with this hose, you want to use a, a flat screwdriver and kind of push it off the top. really stuck on there. There you go. Move it to the side. Now with the bottom hose, same thing as the upper one. You want to use the flathead screwdriver and kind of go in between and uh, push it out right here. This is the hose that you need to be careful with because coolant will come gushing out of here. So you can put a towel here. some of the coolant coming out you can use a, a rag or in my case using a small plastic bag now that we have the bottom holes off 
uh, we could start lifting this up but you want to do it slowly okay because you don't want to rip the sensor off the wiring harness which is right over here and then what you want to do is turn it there we go and remove it slowly out all that red stuff on there was a seal that I put attempting to not have it leak but that didn't work because it's leaking on the edges not where the sensor is but that's all right we got a new one now and there you go now we could take the sensor off and there's a tab on it we're gonna grab our famous pick here Actually, we don't even need the pick. We'll just squeeze and pull. There we go. And move that to the side. Now, when you put the new one in, it's going to be the act, actually the reverse of taking it out. So first we start with the sensor. And that snaps, give it a tug. Make sure it's sitting on there properly, okay? Down here, this is your grommet. And this is where that's gonna sit on. So you just wanna pop that on. All right. And uh, we'll start with the bottom hose since that's the most difficult one. Once you push this in, all you do is snap the clip and then give it a tug to make sure that it's secured properly and then put the top one on there we go put that on and snap it in and give it a little tug and there we go. Put your two screws back on. Ooh, I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna drop this. <laughs> Start with the bottom one. The new tank didn't come with screws, so if you drop the screw in the engine, you're screwed because it's very hard to get. You would have to take out the whole plastic under um, carriage there and, and take it out. Or you could use a magnet. Even that's difficult. There you have it.
turn the temperature to the highest setting. And this is gonna open the thermostat. I'm gonna provide a link on my description on how to get to the hidden service uh, menu, which is gonna show you coolant temperature. I wanna make sure the AC is not on. As you can see, I have it a little bit above the max mark. Now I'm going to start the vehicle and I should see the levels go down a little bit and then I can add more if I need to. So I have the engine running and now I'm going to add just a little bit more and I'm going to close the cap and open the bleeder so air pockets can be removed out of the cooling system. Now we're just going to release the bleeder. Got the tight on there. There we go. Oh, a little bit of overspray, but we should see that. the bleeder has bled, I'm just going to close it. And I'm going to have to hose this all off. So we got a little bit of overspray, but that means the air has uh, came out the cooling system. And now we're going to go inside and check the heating. So temperature looking good. Uh, normal operating temperature is about 95 to 110 Celsius. Um, but the heating, the heat is blowing hot air in here, so that shows no air pockets. We bled the system, everything is looking fine. Um, now what you want to do is let the engine cool off or go about your day and when the engine is cool again later, check the levels to make sure uh, that we still have coolant in there to the required marks. Marks that are indicated on the on the coolant reservoir tank. Alrighty, everything looking good. I'm gonna cut it here. Please subscribe, like, comment. If you like this, I'm gonna have some more videos coming out. Some very good ones. Thank you for watching.